Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. The bond and covenant of marriage was established by God in creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee signifies to us the mystery of the union between Christ and his church. And Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife and heart, body and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. And when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Barbara Jane Stacy and Alexander James Huskins now come to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not lawfully be married, speak now or forever hold your peace. I require and charge you both here in the presence of God that if either of you know any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully and in accordance with God's word, you do now confess it. Barbara, Will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. I will. I will. Alexander, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. And Will all of you witnessing these promises do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? Please answer, we will. We will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Just bring them together and step back. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, O oh, gracious and ever-living God. You have created us male and female in your image. Look mercifully upon this man and this woman who come to you seeking your blessing and assist them with your grace that with true fidelity and steadfast love they may honor and keep the promises and vows they make through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. You will find in your pews in the choir hymnals which are either red or blue, and I would ask on this occasion of great joy and happiness that we lift our voices to the good Lord who gives us this day. Hymn number 175.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I offer you these words in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Barbara and Alex, what a joy and an honor it is to stand with you both on this day in these profound and sacred moments which we occupy at this time and in this magnificent soaring space built over long years to the greater glory of god on this most beautiful day which god has given us you, Barbara, and Alex, stand on a threshold. And you are now ready to step across it into your new future. In these next moments, and we have spoken about this together. 
in these next moments who you are to one another will make a profound shift, a major and profound shift in just moments. For before God, with your dear families and friends from near and far, all who stand with you this day and support you in myriad ways, in these next moments, you will speak promises of love and fidelity to one another for life. You will seal this with the giving and receiving of rings, and God, the good Lord, the giver of all good gifts, will through the church and my office as priest bless those promises, bless both of you, and draw you both into his sacred heart of love and mercy. So just a brief word about those promises. We've used this word in the liturgy already today. The word is covenant, the covenant of marriage. But the word is ancient. Because God, through the deep mists of time, and we're talking now at least 4,000 years ago, came to a, an individual whose name was Abram. And he would form a people, a tribal people of Hebrews. But he said to Abram, I am the one true and living God. You have to understand at this point, there were gods for everything. Grain, stones, whatever. Hundreds, pantheon. I am the one true and living God above all gods. Hear my voice, Abram, and tell me that we can form a covenant, a marriage. And through that covenant, that relationship, the world will come to know who I am. Be faithful and believe in me. And I will bring you into a new land. And your descendants will be numbered like the stars. So Abram went. Radical. He left security, riches, everything. Abram went into an unknown future at God's request. Now, I won't replay the whole book of Genesis and Exodus for you, but Abraham proved himself, Abram proved himself faithful and was renamed Abraham and his wife Sarai, Sarah. Abraham to Isaac to Jacob, who would be renamed Israel, the 12 sons of Jacob down to Egypt. The saga goes on. But what characterized that initial covenant and, was, and God was tenacious that it be kept, central to it, and there were many things that characterized, but central to it was a word in Hebrew called chesed, chesed. And what we want you two to do is to build your marriage beginning today on chesed. What is it? Steadfast love, loyal love, strong love, a love that will go as far as it needs to go to uphold the other. Chesed, point one. Point two.
and there are only two. The second building block for your marriage is the central symbol of our Christian faith. At one time, a cruel form of execution, and now turned into good news. Jesus said to his disciples, love one another as I love you. There was nothing sentimental about that. Most of them went to their deaths, proclaiming their witness to his life and death and resurrection. Love one another as I have loved you. That is the ultimate expression of God's love total self-giving for the life of the world, that Christ would die and take our mortal broken selves into the tomb, that we would rise with Christ as he was taken into resurrection life. So, chesed and sacrificial love trying not to count the cost. There's only one who can love unconditionally. That's God. But we can strive for it. So we hold those before you. Today, we hope and pray and wish many things for you both. Happiness, good health, prosperity, whatever that means, children, your life dreams realized, long life, many other things. But mostly what we pray for you and wish for you this day is that you will have the strength and the resolve and the character to uphold and honor the promises that you are just about to make. Remember that. Make this marriage work. Bring everything you have to protect it and build it. All your heart, strength, and soul, that will take you almost as far as you need to go. But there's one ingredient that's missing. And you must keep it there and open yourself to it. And that is God's grace. That is, means God's unmerited love. You can't achieve it. You must open your hearts to receive it. So on this day, we pray for you both as you start this new life to trust in God. Stay near to God. Place your hands in one another and in the hands of God, and his mercy and compassion will follow you all your days. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of God, I, Alexander. In the name of God, I, Alexander. Take you, Barbara. Take you, Barbara. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. <laughs> in the name of God, I, Barbara. In the name of God, I, Barbara. Take you, Alexander. <laughs> take you, Alexander. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. 
This is my solemn vow. I know. <laughs> Bless, O oh Lord, these rings to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Barbara, I give you this ring. Barbara, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Alexander, I give you this ring. Alexander, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. <laughs> and with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Hands and join right hands. Face one another. Join right hands. <laughs> so bad today. <laughs> now that Barbara and Alexander have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. 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 Let us pray, eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of all grace. Look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your son gave his life and especially upon this man and this woman, whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Amen. Give them wisdom and devotion in the order of their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will, and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Make their life together a sign of... Give them grace when they hurt each other to recognize and acknowledge their fault and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Amen. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Amen. Bestow on them, if it is your will, the gift and heritage of children, and the grace to bring them up to know you, to love you, and to serve you. Amen. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Amen. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Amen. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity, by which all your children are united one to another and the living to the dead, may be so transformed by your grace that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where, O oh Father, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity, now and forever. Amen.
most gracious God, we give you thanks for your tender love in sending Jesus Christ to come among us, to be born of a human mother, and to make the way of the cross to be the way of life. We thank you also for consecrating the union of man and woman in his name. By the power of your Holy Spirit, pour out the abundance of your blessing upon this man and this woman. Defend them from every enemy. Lead them into all peace. Let their love for each other be a seal upon their hearts, a mantle about their shoulders, and a crown upon their foreheads. Bless them in their work and in their companionship, in their sleeping and in their waking, in their joys and in their sorrows, in their life and in their death. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that table where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come have life everlasting. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. I would invite you all to turn to one another and share a sign of Christ's peace. So as a body, let's sing them into their marriage. Will you please turn your hymnals to number 293. I sing a song of the saints of God. Thanks be to God.